I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds, and we have our second Fremont beer we're <sighs> reviewing. Last one, the Rusty Nails, we were at the end of a big bottle share tonight. Mm -hmm. It was uh, towards the end of that night. We still gave it a good review. Yeah, it, was it was kind a of a review. quick one, and that beer might have deserved a little more attention it did. for the high quality uh, beer it is. Well, Fremont's, I mean, they make some good yeah, stuff. Yeah, they, they, they make deserve some more really attention than we gave them. So we're going to give them, we're going to do another one. Uh, this uh, bottle came in that same trade I got for that one. This is the 2015 uh, Bourbon Barrel Age Abominable. Uh, this one is aged in 12, this is 12 and 15 year old whiskey barrels, which is a, uh, the Abominable is placed in, and it's a mix of that beer aged for 12 months and 24 months. Awesome. So, so cuvee. Yeah, cuvee of those, and uh, I guess this one's also known as B-bomb, if uh, you're familiar with that. So, let's do All it. All right, let's do it. It's poured. It's just black. And I should say, this is 14%. Okay. And it's a winter ale. Oh, all right. Okay. But it still is black, tan head, alcohol legs. Looks like a stout. Yeah, it does. I, I would have. I mean, just looking at it, I would have thought stout. Yeah. Right, with the nose. Good. Hmm. But I do. Did, I definitely get some dark fruits in there. I do. Yeah. I was gonna say I, I get maybe a hint of bourbon. I, I would have expected bigger, much bigger bourbon. Yeah. But the first thing I got was kind of raisin plum. Yeah. Dark fruit, dark cherries. Maybe some sweet malty, bready. Yeah, you know, hint of bourbon there, but I really have to dig for the aroma. It's not yeah. kind of jumping out at me. Yeah, it's not. I guess the more the, each time I dig my nose, I'm getting a little bit more bourbon each time. Mm. But all the other things we said are just definitely on. Excuse me, on the forefront. So you said a Christmas ale. I'm not getting much spice. Winter ale. A winter ale. But still, uh, typically winter ales have some decent spice to them, a little cinnamon, nutmeg. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it necessarily has any, any spices yeah, I in I it. I don't really get any of that. Um, I'm wondering if it's more just kind of like a strong ale, Maybe. that character. Okay. Um, but anyway, we'll, right, uh, we'll get it. Cheers. Cheers, cheers everyone. Ooh. Man, definitely has bourbon on the it's, flavor. Yeah, Big vanilla like there. Big bourbon. Then vanilla. Mm -hmm. I can't tell if the burn is from some spices in it or from big bourbon. Yeah, definitely thin though. It is thin. It doesn't claim to be a stout. Like it's but it's a not a stout, right? But so. it is fourteen percent. I get a little roastiness on the back. Yeah. End. I like it. That's good. Mostly on the front, I'm just kind of getting bourbon. Like the first, yeah. I get this kind of like bourbon. Um, bourbon flavor, then a little bit of sweet vanilla, and then a little bit of roastiness. But not too complex. I, uh, I get a lot of bourbon. I mean, wow. Yeah. The more sips I have, it's big bourbon. I, I definitely agree. Get some barrel character too, some oak in there. Yeah, I'm starting to get some vanilla from that, mm -hmm. I think. Mm. Whew. Yeah, it does have some heat on there. But I have to admit, I mean, just drinking it um, with a little bit of roastiness on the back end, I would have thought, well, this is just kind of a thinner stout. Yeah. So, I'm, I mean, I'm glad to know it's a winter ale instead. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. I so, agree. More and more bourbon as I drink it. So, what kind of numbers does this one get? I thought they were pretty big. Um, hmm. I'm thinking four, three. Four two five four okay. three something around I'm there. Curious, I just wasn't quite sure. Because you never know. I mean, when someone's drinking this, are they thinking they're drinking a stout? Yeah. And I would think they'd underrate it if it if mm -hmm. they thought it was a stout because it it doesn't taste like a stout. Mm. Even though you get a little bit of roastiness on the back end. Yeah. I like the idea of a winter warmer. Um, mm -hmm. I can picture myself. You know, we're getting that. We're in uh, early November right now, so we're getting that way. But just on a cold winter night, yeah, this this would really hit by the, the fire. Just sit and sip on the Sipping. snifter for a while. I think that's the perfect time and place for this mm -hmm. beer, or share it with a friend. Um, Thanks, by the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but it's not like a crazy for me. It's not crazy number wise. I'm gonna go four two five. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Four two five. Um, couldn't get to four five, but definitely better note four. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's worth seeking out. I wouldn't pay extra, but it's worth seeking out. It's, yeah, it's good beer. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Anything mm. else? No, I'm As gonna it for a while. Absolutely. Yeah, in the night with this one. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.